Hi book friends! Today I'll be reading about opposites. Let's learn all the different opposites. Are you ready? Here we go. Big. That elephant is big. Do you see how big that elephant is? And it's jumping on some leaves. And look at the little mouse here. It's little. Little. Yes. Big. You see how big the elephant is? And the mouse is little. Big and little are opposites. Empty. Do you see the pelican? Its mouth is empty. There's nothing in it. <gasps> but on this page, the pelican's mouth is full. Do you see the big fish in the pelican's mouth right here? <gasps> empty, full. Empty and full are opposites. Tall. Do you see how tall the giraffe is? Such a long neck makes the giraffe tall. And there goes a pelican again. And the pelican is short. Do you see the difference? Tall, short. Tall and short are opposites. Now here we go with the elephant and the alligator. The elephant is right way up. It's standing the right way up and it's holding the alligator upside down. You see how the head is down and the tail is up? The alligator is upside down. Right way up and upside down are opposites. Oh, now this is about daytime. Do you see it's the daytime? The sky is blue, the sun is shining, and you can see everything around. There's plants, there's a big alligator, and look at that mouth with all the sharp teeth. Jump, jump, jump. And there was another alligator underwater. You can only see the eyes. And that's another bush. And then it's nighttime. The sky is dark. You can only see the alligator's teeth and the eyes. Yeah. So daytime and nighttime are opposites. Daytime and nighttime. Outside. The bird is outside the cage. Do you see that? This is a cage. And inside, it looks like those are monkeys. Yeah, and they're inside the cage. The bird is outside. So outside and inside are opposites. And here we have, oh, it's one of the monkeys. The monkey is going high into the sky. And the alligator is low to the ground. So the monkey is high, the alligator is low, 
It looks like the alligator is chomping on that tree. And the monkey's trying to escape. Oh my goodness, it looks scared. So the monkey jumped high, but the alligator is still low. High and low are opposites. And here we go. Do you see the frog? It is leaping up. It is going up. And she is crouching down. She's down. See? The knees are bent. Crouching down. Oh, and there's a porcupine right there. Don't sit on that porcupine. That's going to hurt. <laughs> Porcupines have sharp hair. So, the frog is going up, leaping up, and crouching down. So, up is the opposite of down. Up and down. Up and down. They're opposites. Oh. So, there goes another froggy. And that little froggy is light. Light. Uh oh, and what is this animal? Hmm. It looks maybe like a hippo, maybe? And look, it is heavy. Heavy hippo. Compared to the frog, the hippo is heavy. And the froggy is light. So, light and heavy are opposites. Oh, another alligator. The alligator's mouth is open. Open. Oh, it's trying to chomp on that bird. And now the alligator's mouth is closed. <gasps> Oh my goodness, it chomped on its tail. Wow, but it didn't get the bird. It's still safe. So, what are the opposites here? Open and closed. Open, open, and closed. Chomp, chomp. Open and closed are opposites. Yay! That's the end of the opposite bug. Yay! So, do you know what an opposite is now? Yeah! We know what opposites are. Yeah! Well, thank you for reading this book with me. Until next time, bye book friends.